This is the fifth video on the C7 rifle. In this video, you will learn firing in a prone position, which involves how to hold the rifle correctly in the prone position, testing and adjusting your position, and taking correct aim. A soldier can only be taught to shoot properly on a range. However, in this lesson, the drill for firing can be taught without worrying about the effect of firing the shot. One of the principles of marksmanship is that the shot is to be released and followed through without disturbing the firing position. This lesson deals with the technique required to do this and combines all four marksmanship principles in the prone position. These are the position and hold must be firm enough to support the rifle. The rifle must point naturally at the target without any physical effort. Sight alignment or aiming must be correct. And the shot must be released and followed through without disturbing the position. A shot should be fired without disturbing the aim. If the soldier is firing from a stable position with the rifle held firmly and pointing naturally at the target, all that is required is control of breathing and a smooth trigger operation to prevent undue movement of the weapon. Breathing is a natural function, which will continue without strain until an individual does something to disturb the cycle. It is important, therefore, that firers control their breathing in a way which induces no strain. To achieve this, take two deep breaths to oxygenate the body. Slightly extend the natural pause between breathing out and in, and release the shot within six seconds. During the breathing pause, it is necessary to perfect the aim as near as possible and squeeze the trigger without disturbing the aim. Trigger slack should be taken up just before restraining the breath and perfecting the aim. It is important that the squeezing action of the trigger finger is achieved without moving or reducing the grip of the right hand. Operation of the trigger does not complete the sequence of firing the shot. Following through of the shot is intended to eliminate any movement of the rifle caused by the firer relaxing or raising his head before the bullet has left the muzzle. The firer must try to remain on aim, watching the sights and maintaining the firing position for about two seconds after operating the trigger. As the shot is fired, the recoil action causes the muzzle of the rifle to move usually in an upward direction. This movement should be consistent for successive shots. After each shot, the firer must watch for movement of the sights during the follow-through and immediately declare the shot correct or incorrect to the coach. After an incorrect declaration when live firing, the firer and the coach should discuss the fault and its correction. Coming up high left. I want you to alter your point of view. Automatic aim. fire may be employed using the same marksmanship principles. When the order to fire bursts is given, burst. move the selector oh. lever to A. When the aim and hold are correct, the trigger should be pressed long enough to fire a burst of two to three rounds and then released. Bursts of more than three rounds are liable to be inaccurate as the weapon has a tendency to fire high after the first shot. A strong grip with a forward hand can counteract this. It is essential that the rifle points naturally at the target. To ensure that it does, the firer must test and if necessary, adjust his position. Once the firing position is stable, the body is oxygenated with two deep breaths. Breath is restrained for a few seconds and the trigger is manipulated smoothly. The bullet should leave the muzzle without any undue movement of the weapon. Remember to follow through on your shot and declare your shot, especially when on a live fire range with a coach.